So now I, I promised to do some uh, some videos now in English language, and so I confessed myself. <laughs> I made a promise at least, so I'm gonna do it now. Um, and I'm I'm trying to somehow get into betting or of course professional kind of betting, but. Um, in that sense, I, I would um, have to explain a few things first of all um, about the the pricing, the market in general, and I'm I'm just a very small example, or uh, yeah, try to uh, explain a couple of things and uh, things in very simple um, example. Because I already heard that that sometimes, of course, it's it's, it's getting a bit too detailed or a bit, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm trying to keep it simple, and um, well, about the language. I mean, I'm I'm now into a lot more into betting and and uh, betting market and and uh, professional gambling or whatever that would be. So. Um, where am I myself now? Okay, up there. Um, and um, uh, so the, the language doesn't matter really, or rather, I would I would uh, uh, um, address a lot more um, people like that, keeping it, it in English, especially in, in Facebook. I had lots of requests now recently, especially also with these videos and. People would simply ask me to, or they, they would say they, they wouldn't understand the German. And it, it doesn't make much sense than German. So what I would like to point out here is uh, what people usually do, and I also see some, well, it's it's, it's long, <laughs> long time experience, of course, 35 years I could, I could uh, claim now, or 34 years when I'm into this uh, business, and um, this is more than half my life. And uh, so, of course, you, you make a lot of experience with that and what people do and what they tend to do and what they think about it. Uh, so, um, uh, uh, in general, people would, um, um, would, would, would like to... Uh, uh, would like to support favorites somehow. And... Um, uh, here I give the market price. So I'm trying to, to show one example and, and try to keep it simple. And this is about, uh, here are my own true prices. This is what, what my computer compi compiled. I've, I've no idea uh, where the prices are, so I didn't prepare this example. I'm doing it on the fly here and right now. So what have we got here? Um, oh no, this is the Asian uh, stuff. So I also have a true prices here, data. And um, I tried to, to select some, some German leaks that I simply do have. It's just to give an example. It's not, not meant to, not intended to. You know, not, um, yeah, it doesn't matter what, what games it are. So this is true price 1.38. This is my true price. 1.38. And this would be, uh, um, to get that straight, um, there, there is of course a, a conjunction. There is a uh, between um, um, uh, price and probability uh, for an event to 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 come true to occur. Okay, market assessed probability, and that would be. Uh, the 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 reverse of the of the price so of course i could i could enter the the um this uh, by um percentage so it looks a bit better um we add some more it's just um so percentage and uh, so um my assessment would be 1860 win by 72.46%. This is a true price of 
and uh, market is paying. I, I guess it's it's uh, um, largely also for the uh, yes yeah, simple uh, people simply. Uh, take 1860 Munich because they are top of the table and they simply win all their games and 20,000 six pack data, whatever. So sometimes the price goes even a bit lower on the high heavy favorites. And this is, uh, well, partly of what I would like to. I, I just uh, stick to a couple of um, heavy favorites, which would be, let's say, Stuttgarter Kickers. This is 145. Stuki, I will quickly put it in short minds. Um, this is 1.45, and um, okay, so I'm, I'm gonna do them all um, centered here. And um, my own true price for Stuttgarter Kickers, it's this here, you see that? That's 1.66. No, uh, I'm wrong here, okay, 1.66 is true price. 1.45 is market price, and I will enter the, the, the rest a bit later. Just pick a, oh, we, we can also take Elversberg um, against um, Ulm. And uh, we take my own true price, which is, in this case, no, it's 1.54, 1.54, and market 1.45. And um, so another one, one point four, I can take Cottbus and Nordhausen, that's good enough. Um, Cottbus against Dynamo. Uh, okay, no, it doesn't matter that much. So what have we got here? Uh, Cottbus, take a few more, that's it. 1.73. And market 1.40 and um, Nordhausen, I said, against Fürstenwalde. Um, should be up here, I could see it. Um, Nordhausen 1.56 and market 1.45. Okay, just a few more. As far do we have one here? Yeah, St. Pauli against Eutin. This is market 1.20. My own price, uh, I can just see it here, it's 1.54. Those, This is a pretty big difference. And we take some, I, I just try to, to, to give a coupon, a, a bet, a, a, an average uh, person somehow you, you would um, go for. They simply say, okay, I'm going to take a few favorites and, uh, okay, I, I'll skip this one. And maybe third division also, not, not many uh, games, no, no, no high favorite, no huge favorites. So the, it's, it's actually enough already to take six favorites. Um, but um, we could possibly find another one, which usually is from the Bundesliga. This is Bayern, uh, Bayern, Munich against Mainz. So market price would be 1.13 and true price would be, this is my compilation, no one says that uh, I can't uh, <laughs> Well, proof this is right, although I, I got many statistics tools to do so. Well, what's happening here? 1.17. 1 7, and maybe a last one with Dortmund. Dortmund against Köln. Okay. 1.27. This is market price. And let's see what computer does here. That's 1.36. So now we can um, pull down here, or what would that be? Don't know the English word. Um, uh, so the probability, or I could also copy it in here, or something like that. So this is um, the probability. So what's happening now? This is 
these are independent uh, I don't know all these words uh, but uh, what happens if I don't know something or if I I'm checking if there are better words sometimes I, uh, I let's type it in here so events occurrences yeah none of these is really you know of course I know these words but it's not an event the occurrence yeah occurrences uh, they are independent occurrences, and um, and so you you have to if if you want to uh, calculate the probability if you know a single occurrence uh, probability and you know you would like to know the combined probability you have to multiply it. So what we could do here is multiply these uh, this. No, I really didn't prepare it at all. So. So I can do this times this times this times this times this times this times this. So we end up at somewhere pretty low already. Why, why is it doing happening here? I, I, I guess I, I somewhere I put in a plus or something like that. Uh, percentage? Ah, this is because of the format here. Hmm. Yeah, poo, 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 format. This is a bit silly. Why is it? Uh, no, no, this is right. It's 4.2 percent. Why? It's just that this one is not formatted. Okay. So this is a probability. I mean, that, that's not. No, that it does make some sense. 4.29% uh, for a couple of heavy favorites to all win their games. What usually people say then is uh, they, they, get, they got just one of them wrong, which is of course a, a somewhat um, silly calculation, which I might point out, point, out, point out later. What the betting market does is uh, multiply these prices as well. This is what, what uh, because they, they rely on um, the, the mathematical functions. Uh, that it, uh, independent um, occurrences you can multiply uh, also the chances so also the Whoa, what have I done wrong now ah this is the true price so this should be just the re reverse of the This is just the reverse of this, uh, of course. This is 1 divided by 4.29 percent. Yeah, this is the same, but just the format here. I don't want percent. I don't... I want a number. So, um, 23... This is the same here. And... But this is not what, what, what they get paid. Instead, they get paid this. So, but now I can copy it, of course, which I could have done before as well. So they, they just get paid 8.67. And this is actually what I, what I was trying to point out. So now here we need a percentage again. So, mm, this is the probability what they would need, which they would need, uh, which is uh, far away from the one they get, whereby this is just my own calculation. Anyway. Um, and I, I, I try to keep it as short as possible now for once for this intro, introductionary or one example of an English uh, video I'm, I'm doing here. Um, uh, the, the true price or yeah is, is, is um, if you multiply these or if you multiply just the probabilities you get a probability of 4.29. So you should get a return of 23 times 3, 3 your money. Instead, you just get 8.67 times your money because this is what market pays for the uh, occurrence of all these favorites to win. I didn't uh, bring them out here, but all of them are home sites. Yeah, usually the home the side are so it's it's just home win, home win, home win, home win. But heavy favorites are if they play at home, the prices are even lower for the home advantage. Anyway. <clears throat> So you, you, you get a very, very bad uh, return on investments or whatever that would be. Because uh, uh, every... Um, well, it's, it's one, of, one of the points uh, within this, uh, what I was trying to show is the, the, the 
the bad bets, the more you make of them, the worse your um, return gets. If you make a single one of them, it's it's just a low loss you you, you can expect. The, if you combine them, it's a pretty big loss you get because you, you actually get get one third of your of your money about one third of your money or no two third uh, are, are gone or the, the the disadvantage. I could I could I could show this here as well, but this is like like one hundred eighty percent or let's put it the other way, uh, you you get a return of like thirty percent of what you should get, and this is in general. What what uh, the whole market, the whole betting market, is making its money with, so to say, the 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 uh, the uh, this is Euro bookie, this is uh, cash point. Uh, whenever I just picked anyone, um, this is cash point, and this is what their winnings are based on. Maybe people know that, but uh, it's it's just to point out that a combination of bad bets makes them even better. And the heavy favorites, which is a, a standard to combine heavy favorites, uh, it's um, it's about the worst you can do. And uh, and um, if you if you would like to go for an outsider, this is one counter example. One, uh, yeah, do we have? Yeah, of course we do have because we can simply go for mines or something like that. Whereas mines again. Um, uh, no, this is Mainz Hoffenheim. What did we have for Mainz here? 22.5. So this is very close to uh, the, the price you should get here. And if we look at look at the true price you get for Mainz, this is 23.86. So this would be a, a perfect perfect example, which is uh, coincidental, came up here. Because this is almost uh, like the, the true price on, on Mainz winning here. Uh, it is what you should get, which you don't do. But this is very close to the true price on mines. So if you select mines to win in Munich, you got about the same probability of all those heavy favorites to win at the same time because they all have to win. If you if you lose one, your bet is gone, and and otherwise with a with a um, no, I I I don't talk about this now. It's about the same probability for all those heavy favorites to win their games compared to the probability for Mainz to win in Munich. No one would do that. They would all say, okay, 1860 are going to win with these. Stuttgart Kickers are going to win. We can check on Monday, of course. Eversberg are going to win. I'm, I'm going to keep this here, the Arbeitsmarkt bei Mainz, whatever that is. Stuttgart Kickers to win. That's an easy one. Eversberg to win. Yeah, they are on the roll. Cottbus, they are top, they won all their games. Easy one. Nordhausen, of course, first you, Fürstenwalde, uh, uh, rubbish. St. Pauli to win. Eutin, of course, Eutin, bottom table. I don't know, they, they won a point so far or whatever. Bayern Munich, oh, that's a present. Dortmund against Köln, yeah, it's going to happen. So, this is, uh, in some sense, you can say this is common sense. They are all going to win, but it's less likely, or it's about as likely for Bayern, for Mines to win in Munich as it is that all those favorites are going to win. And the return you get is here, 8.67. And if you go with Mines, you get a 22.5, which is almost the true price. Or, this is my calculation, I can't prove it, but anyway, this is what it is. Okay, I'm going to stop here now, for now, uh, for now I'm going to stop here. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it and come back soon. Oh, I'll be back. I'll be right back. No, I'll be back.